The next song on our album uh, feeds very well from the new Eternity, uh, and it's called Northern Fires, Guernica. This song is about the apocalypse, the shift from one epoch of war as we knew it to another. The Spanish Civil War, uh, which is very much worth looking into, um, basically involved a general, uh, General Franco, who had been exiled to Morocco and came back to Spain with uh, more of the army on his side than of the existing uh, democratic society it was seeking to take control of Spain and institute his own dictatorship. And so this fascist general ends up, uh, ends up waging a very brutal war, um, one in which many civilians died. And uh, the song, Northern Fires Guernica, is a reference to the city of Guernica which Pablo Picasso documented in his painting, Guernica, that Franco uh, was having a lot of trouble with northern resistance. It was uh, in Spain, in the north, there was resistance towards, uh, towards his fight. And so he allowed um, Hitler to send his Luftwaffe, his air force, to basically do their first ever bombing campaign. So they bombed the city of Guernica and is obviously a horrific violation of, of any standard of war that we understand. This idea that in a civil war, someone would um, basically, w w would allow someone else to brutally attack and murder their civilians. And so in this, in this moment, we see exactly how, how evil this, this particular general was in, in his conquest for victory. And the, the reason, though, that this song is uh, dealing with an apocalyptic moment in history, in my opinion, is it's examining kind of the move that I see from war being more or less about national pride and about advancement of a particular of a particular race or religion, you know, dominance of one culture over another. And you actually see it become what it is today, which is primarily driven by by a worldwide economy. And I wrote it in particular as an American uh, for a, a, lot, a lot of Americans to, to learn about that American soldiers were sent over to Spain during the Spanish Civil War. It's a true story. It's called the Lincoln Brigade to fight on behalf of the common people, to fight on behalf of the people of Spain against this, this fascist, um, much more, uh, you could say, sort of right wing dictator. And uh, a lot of the soldiers who volunteered were uh, were pretty leftist, a lot of them were communist sympathizers actually, um, who, who wanted to fight against Franco. And they go over there and uh, a lot of them die on behalf of people they never knew. And Ernest Hemingway discusses this in For Whom the Bell Tolls. And so the song opens with basically a reference to the main character. I think his name's Robert Jordan. They die on behalf of, of people they don't know. And, and there's something tragic and, and beautiful and sad about it. But, but what's most troubling about this is the fact that American companies grew to the prominence that we see them today during this time period. Texaco Oil, primarily, uh, is probably the best example, developed a very close friendship, the CEO did, with, with, with Francisco Franco, and ended up funding him because war obviously requires a lot of investment. And so he invested an incredible amount of oil and got incredibly rich. And to this day, Texaco Oil is the power that it is because because it took the side of fascists. It took the side of slaughter of innocent people for profit. And so I think you see a new kind of war and you see that shift. And, and like all the topics in this album, you see it recurring throughout history. Halliburton Oil uh, following 9-11 with the invasion of Afghanistan and Iraq. Dick Cheney was, was part of the, is part of that company and, and that people make incredible sums of money in times of war if they choose the, the right side, if they choose the winning side. And a lot of times it becomes self-fulfilling, especially in the Spanish Civil War, that, that companies such as Texaco made an incredible profit off of taking sides in war. And, 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 and it really leads us to ask ourselves, why do we war? Like, who is it profiting? Because in, in the modern age, someone's always getting very rich in times of war. That's the sort of the apocalyptic moment, the shift of, of a certain type of war to, to the modern era of war um, as far as the, the why. why. Why do we war? What, what, what's the purpose? So that's what that song deals with.